We are Mark and Laura, and we are dating our way through the alphabet. Our last video was our J date, where we enjoyed a delicious and entertaining dinner at a Japanese steakhouse, and we had a blast at the Judd's concert. Come along with us today for our K date. That was a good little quick stop at Caldi's Coffee. What did you think about it, babe? I thought it was really good. I like the coffee and I really like the pastry. Yeah. The oh carrot cake was really good. So was my muffin. That mocha chip muffin is what I got. He got the carrot cake. It was like a little it? bunt cake, like a carrot cake bunt cake. Oh my gosh, they were both delicious. That muffin was like the best muffin I've ever had. You know how usually like the bottom of the muffin is more like dense and like drier and the top of the muffin is usually the best part? This one was the opposite. I mean the whole thing was good, but like the bottom was the best part because it was so moist and caramelized almost like on the bottom around the edges. It's delicious. Like I said, everybody likes a moist bottom. <laughs> so inappropriate and I got a chai tea latte that I'm still finishing what'd you get for your drink it was like a I got a iced mocha and then add caramel which is kind of my go-to when I go to pretty much any cold coffee yeah and Caldi's coffee is a st. Louis locally owned they have several different locations but the one that we went to is off of skinker and Forest Park Parkway right by the Washington University campus because that's where we're headed to next we're going to the Kemper Art Museum if you recognize the name Kemper it is like Ellie Kemper the actress from the office and unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt you know that quirky little like redheaded actress but her family is from Missouri very wealthy family from Missouri the full name of the museum is called the Mildred Lane Kemper Art Museum, which is named after Ellie Kemper's grandmother, but everybody just calls it the Kemper Art Museum, and so that's where we're headed to next. Are you excited, honey? I'm super excited. <laughs> it's very cultured, you know? <laughs> very. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go see some art. good some of it interesting <laughs> word of advice don't take him to any type of like abstract art area because he's gonna have some real rude things to say <laughs> I'm an honest person and whenever I see things that don't look like things that they're trying to say they are <laughs> anyway. some of it was really good in there yeah the you liked like more of like the mid 19th century paintings yeah I mean, there was some pretty neat stuff. I thought it was a really good time, and like most things in St. Louis, it is free, open to the public. All you gotta do is walk in and they give you a little sticker. You're free to walk around. They had no problem with us taking photos or videos, so it was great. But now we're gonna head back to where we were this morning. Um, right next door to Caldi's Coffee is a little Korean restaurant where they have Korean barbecue and Korean tacos, Korean fried chicken, sandwiches, all kinds of different Korean style food and it's called kimchi guys so it's perfect for the k-date excited we've never had Korean food either nope so looks that, good though 
This will be three firsts in a row for us today on the K-Date. That's why I like doing these little challenges. And it's such a nice day, we're just gonna walk there because it's literally like less than half a mile from the art museum. So let's go. Let's go. We love getting ideas from you all for this series, and one of the recommendations we got last time was for Korean food. Thank you to Ashley for all the great suggestions and your comment. We'd love for you guys to leave us a comment down below with ideas for our L date. I got the four piece chicken tenders, and I got two different flavors. One is like the original Korean sauce, and then this is like a garlic soy sauce. It's super good. Mark got the 10 piece wing combo. He also got like the original Korean sauce, and then he got the. You get the honey I butter. Got the honey butter. Yeah. Oh, it's delicious. It's so juicy. Like, look at all that. <laughs> Juice is just dripping off of there. It's so good. The barbecue was really good. Oh my gosh. What do you think about it? It was. Killing it. <laughs> no, it was really good. Very good. A little bit of spice, but nothing like overpowering. I like the uh, original Korean one the best. Like this uh, little bit spicy Korean flavor. Yeah, the the honey one that I had, I thought was okay. I didn't think it had like a ton of flavor myself, but I mean the chicken itself, the way they like double fried, it was like really crispy. It was really good. Yeah, I love that. Like the real crunchy outside because they double fry their chicken. Um, I really liked the garlic soy flavor of the sauces that I chose. The honey butter one that he's talking about that didn't have a lot of flavor, it's just very buttery, I think to me. Yeah. With just like a hint of like maybe a sweetness of the honey, but mostly just like kind of like a buttery Flavor, but I think that's what I was thinking. It was going to have a little bit more sweetness to it than. It, yeah, they were all really good, though. I mean, I don't think you can go wrong, to be honest. No, I would. I mean, yeah, it wasn't like uneatable by any means. It's just yeah. preferences. All right, so now we're headed to our last place for the day. Walk off some of that food that we just ate. We're headed to Klondike Park. There are quite a few options here at Klondike Park. We're going to start by going up to the top of the cliff up here and get some pretty views of the Missouri River. It's just a very short but steep hike up the hill. Aww, and kissing. A kiss. <laughs> idea for the K-Date is to go on the Katy Trail, but we did that for our E-Date because we rode the E-Bikes on the Katy Trail. That would be another good K-Date idea in the St. Louis area. That was a fun little lookout trail, but the main attraction at Klondike Park is definitely this little lake. This lake was formed by a quarry, so you don't want to swim in here for sure. But the white sand is really beautiful with the cliffs in the background. And then, if it was a different time of year, we could do these little kayak rentals. This is called Paddle Share, and they have these little like ports where you can, they're like self serve kayak rental spots, which are really cool. But it's not open until I think April through October is a season for those. So. If it had been that time of year, we could have gone kayaking. This is also a really popular spot for like photography. You can see why it's very beautiful with the white sand and the lake. There's a little trail that we can walk along too, which is really nice. we found at the park. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Hi! 
Hi, little baby. Daddy! <laughs> so now Lexi found us. My mom met us here. So that's gonna be the end of our date day, our K date. Thank you guys for coming along with us. Give us your L date ideas in the description box down below. Thanks for coming along. No K remarks. Mm. Have a K day. Have a K day, have a kick ass day. Honey. <laughs> I said have a K day now. We'll see you again next time. Just kidding. <laughs> bye bye. Like I like my bottoms nice and juicy. Honey. Thank <laughs> you.